Hey y'all, so I wanted to come and let y'all know that I'm fucking mad. I'm mad, dude. I, I'm mad because I wasted a whole lot of time and energy creating that ex cult member carbonation post, whatever that I created. And I put a person in that particular video and gave them a shout out and was practicing praising them you know like hey they're out of the cold they're doing good blah 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 you know they need their flowers blah blah blah, blah. and then a couple of days later <laughs> this person is literally regurgitating everything nature boy says to a T to a motherfucking capital T. Bro, I'm mad. And you know what? Let me let me tell you this. This is about serenity. I don't know her real name. Don't know. Don't care. Because I'm I'm pissed. But let me tell you something. I have been in corporate America for a long time, okay? I'm just gonna give y'all a little history about myself. Uh, that's all I've ever really done is, you know, been in offices, okay? I was also a new hire training specialist for four years at a particular company. And a while back, maybe a couple of years ago, maybe a year or two ago, I caught one of Serenity's uh, videos on her channel and it was just so it, it reminded me of the way I used to train and teach my new hires to me in my opinion it's like she goes and studies corporate America uh, training jargon type of things and she just kind of edit edit it you know what it, it makes it sound like it's about life but it's really about the workplace and she applies it to life um and I'm, I'm only saying that because I've been doing it for so long for so long so it's like I know what you're doing I can hear it it's 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 very synthetic that's that's all i'm going to say it's very synthetic it's not organic um and i know where you're getting a lot of this stuff from let me just say that okay um i don't think anyone should look at anybody that used to be in a cult as a a reference point for anything i don't especially if they're still speaking the way they did while being in that particular sex cult okay um <laughs> i went and found a lot of videos of serenity okay because i just had them I, I and i needed this to make sense now all the videos that you're about to watch are for context because I actually passed a lot of videos where she was speaking against carbonation. Okay, recent ones and old ones. But I'm starting to think you can leave the cult, but the cult never fucking leaves you. And that's what I'm witnessing. And I gave you praise that you really don't deserve. She uh, made mention one day that um, Erica Badu follows her and likes some of her posts. And I was, I, I was taken aback, not going to lie, because I'm like, what? And, it, and, and she's not lying. <laughs> she's not fucking lying. And I'm like, bro, like, Erica don't know you, bro. She don't know that you were in a dangerous STD abusive 
sex cult ran by a mentally ill man. She doesn't know that. And now you you have presented yourself as this person like, you can come to me for this knowledge about self-care, self-awareness, uh, self-education, like you're a motivational speaker or some shit, and you're not, bro. You were in a cult. You were in a fucking cult. I really didn't want to do this. I could have done this a while ago, but I wanted to like, I was like, you know, she don't, she don't seem very uh, problematic. So I'm not going to bother her. But now I, I got to bother you <laughs> because you tripping. And I'm, and that's what I do when I see people tripping or doing some bullshit. I'm going to call it out. I don't care who the fuck you are. That's just that. I don't care. Because what the fuck are you going to do? Nothing. So that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to tell people that what you're doing is very synthetic. It's fake. No one should honestly be listening to anything you're saying. Because you sound like your master. And it's disgusting. Now, the first couple of videos that you're about to see are recent. What is today? We're in May, at the end of May, 2022. The first couple of videos and pictures you're about to see are from the past couple of days, from her lives and people commenting on my page about what she's been doing and how she's been speaking. And the videos after that are all old videos from her being in the cult and leaving the cult and going back, you know, just the, 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 you know how they do in carbonation. So I, I, I told you, I was going to remind you of who you are, bro. You're not a God. Shut up with that. I don't want to know what that fucking means. Like, I, I really wish people would stop saying that. It, it sounds ludicrous to me. That's to me. That's my opinion. I'm not going to, uh, whatever. You can believe what the hell you want to believe, but you're not a God. That's just very pebble minded to me. That's just me. But anyway, uh, um, so I wanted to retract my praises and I'm tempted to take down that video because I'm fucking embarrassed. I spoke too soon. You're still in a cult. You're just not in Atlanta. And by the way, Hawaii is a part of America. The system. I don't know if you've forgotten that because you're on an island. But yeah, it's U.S. territory, bruh. Stop. Let me remind you who you are and how I know you and remember you. Because the person I see today, in my eyes, is a lie. And it's crazy because you have captured the attention and the following from people. And I don't really understand how or why. <laughs> but yeah, let me just, I, I, don't, I, I, didn't li I don't like what I've been hearing recently. So I just had to do this. So y'all, you know what? Do what you do and take a look. Since yesterday, I'm so happy that I made the video and proclamation that I am God. It has revealed a lot of things to me. It has helped me have uncomfortable conversations with people that clearly don't agree and they are deeming me to hell, but I've been to hell and it's not so bad. I learned a lot, but uh, I am just so more free now that I am a friend 
that I am God. And since doing that, a lot of mental blockages have moved away and the content that is pouring through me, ooh, it's going to help so many of you remember who you are and free you and give you that peace that you've been desiring all this long. I am like so excited for this. everybody welcome to the room i recognize your presence here i'm just thinking like the times when energy is most focused uh, it's a certain times you know like like every other any other time i would have like 10 12 people in the room but like there's just so much energy focus on this you know and it's, it's crazy to me, um, cause it's like everybody's so interested. Like you know, it's just become like entertainment. You know, our lives. But my whole thing, my whole purpose, since I started this mission, which is like self improvement and growing and, and all this, uh, you know. It, it was that, it was it was focused on that, it was centered around that. So I always try to bring it back to a lesson, you know. I always try to bring it back to a lesson because that's what we're here to do. We're here to learn. And I feel the energy that people are sending my way. But I feel like it's I feel like it's my it's genuine but it's misunderstanding and it's a lot of fear and just low vibrational stuff like people talking i'm not even going to look at because i know people are going to be commenting all kinds of stuff so just listen i guess um if you can do that um going to costa rica leaving the place i was at came from southern california um 
I got three brothers, Mexican, American, but Mexican household, so we were brought up with Mexican culture, um, very loving mother, father was there as well, just didn't know how to give love, never, it was never given to him, but it was a pretty, you know, decent upbringing, you know, compared to a lot of people, you know, so that's, that's where I grew up, eventually, um, I just came to a point in my life where I was seeking something. I was seeking help, like I was going through shit. Um, you know, I, I was trying everything I knew within my own knowledge and understanding. And one day my mom told me that my brother had changed. That she's like, I, I don't know what's up with your brother. Like he just, he's different now. Like in a good way, like he doesn't get angry anymore. Like, like he changed. And I was like skeptical of meeting him because I was like scared. There was something in me that was scared to see somebody change. Like everybody want to change, but people don't want to do what it takes take us to change but th that moment for me was like that's when I knew that you could change Welcome back to the light. I know most of y'all probably start your day, and but it's uh, nine here, so welcome to the room. Hold, I'm looking for my emoji. If <laughs> you can't find the emoji I want to use. Okay, there you go. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Ugh. I tell you, today has been a great day. TK, you're right on time. Um, yesterday, I was supposed to go live yesterday. Yep, <laughs> I was supposed to go live yesterday and something had happened with Zen and the way things were happening that day, it was all over the place and it was truly a test to who I am and it just showed me like who I was when I'm under pressure and when whatever I'm not gonna tell you what happened with Zen, but I just wanna let you know that it was a lot going on yesterday and it really tested my faith and it and it really showed me who I was. And it showed me who I was under pressure. Because it doesn't matter what you go through and what you learn about yourself. You learn it about yourself so you know yourself. It doesn't mean that part of yourself isn't gonna go away. But the more knowledge you have about 
yourself in the reality, the more you'll be able to control. Be aware of yourself and then control how you're going to respond. And so the way life happened for me yesterday, it really showed me my growth. It really showed me that you got this, you know. And then it was really showing me like, just let, let's let go. Just let go, you know. And I'm just so thankful. And so, as you see, today I'm going to cut my hair. And it's symbolic. Really, the hair and, and cutting your hair off is very symbolic um, to your life and to your journey, to your purpose. And I have a lot of destructive interference in my life. <laughs> and as you see, my hair, my hair pattern is a destructive interference. And what I've been doing was all of this is like an afro. And this is locks and this is all afro. But I was flat twisting it and tucking it away. And that's very symbolic because I was doing that to myself. I was doing that to my growth. I was just putting it together, tucking it away, hiding it, and trying to like appear a certain way that was not serving me. And so now today I'm making that, that proclamation. You know, I'm committing myself to my journey, to my mission. And my hair is just that symbolic to just let it go and be free and become because now it's time for my rebirth my rebirth it's time for my faith to be reborn and to be renewed okay <laughs> so funny uh, to me like I'm like what in the hell cause like I was in the um, cabin and Rambo he came into the cabin and was like um, you need to come outside the police are here and I thought he was playing I was like Rambo stop playing around like I'm cleaning like you know stop and he was like, no, the police are out here. They are asking for you. Somebody called the cops on you. And I'm just like, at first I was like getting mad. I'm like, Rambo, if you don't stop playing around. <laughs> I was like, I do not have time for this. Because be, Rambo be playing jokes sometimes. And so he was like, no. Nah. Like, he was like, I'm dead ass serious. The police are out here. So I go outside and there are two police outside in front of the yard and basically they were just saying they were just asking me if I was okay if me and the baby are okay because somebody reported saying that me and the baby are in danger and we're in danger because of some group he couldn't even say the group he kept saying care nation care, care, care and I was just like carbonation he was like yeah yeah he was like we received a report that you and the baby were in danger and that this group um is harassing you and we're just coming out here to make sure that you're okay and it gave us this address or whatever and i was like they was like you flee from mexico to get away from the group and now the group is after you here and i'm just like nah i said that's my family i said no and I said well are you okay and I, I'm just like yeah as you can see I'm okay and the baby is okay and so um they also asked Rambo you know who he was and you know because they were just they because they, they were more concerned about me and the baby and they was and they didn't even think that there was anything going on but because they received the report they have to you know oblige to it you know this is the states you know and so, uh, I mean, it's nice that they cared enough to just come out, you know, but it's inconvenience because there's real things going on and because there's people on here that's getting too caught up in someone else's life and don't even know what's going on, uh, you can really cause a lot of harm. You know what I mean? Peace of God's charm. They didn't call the cops on me. Uh, 
So they were just like, we just want to make sure you're okay. And it was like, well, where's this group? Who is this group? And I was like, well, that's my that's my family. And I said, they're not even here. They're they, they're in Central America. They're not even here. So I don't, and remember it was like, they don't even want to come here. They don't want to come back to the States. And I was like, yeah, for good reason, because look at what's happening. Um, because I'm trying to free myself. People are trying to keep me and my son locked away because you don't agree, you know, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, they called the cops on me, and the cops came. The cops came to the house, and they were look. They're actually looking for carbonation. They're thinking, <laughs> they're thinking carb, and because the police said they did their research, they went online. It was like, who is this nature boy? You know, and uh, it was like, yeah, they said it's some sex cult. I mean, the, we already know what they say but they was like we was doing our research so that's why we came out and i said they're not here and they wouldn't harm anybody that's my family and i said i used to live in the in the, uh mexico but we left when we came here and i said but no they're not they're not bothering us that's my family i just kept saying that and you know they was just like okay because we did do a little research um they called the, somebody called the cops um like the juvenile uh department i guess somebody called the cops saying that you guys were harassing meetings in and that y'all were here and y'all you know were bothering us and we're in danger and all this and that so the police came out but once they came here and saw that that was not true they was just like okay that's fine you know and, and they thought that you were actually here it was just like, um, yeah, that's the thing. And, and, see for my, and see, for me, it has to be somebody that knows us. Because on Airbnb, you can't get the address um, for where we live. So it has to be someone that, um, that already had the address. Because you know what, Airbnb, um, you have to pay in order to get the address. So it either has to be someone I know or something like that because even with people that reach out and want to know about the Airbnb, Rambo and I, we never give them the information. We tell them, you really want to come here, you book it, you know. Um, so it's maybe somebody went that far and booked it because I think the other day Rambo went live and he... Then somebody was asking about it, and he told them the name. And so they could have easily like, Googled the name, or they could have did a fake uh, booking or anything to get the address. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because I haven't really been going live lately, and I've been quiet. So, so the fact that people are like putting me in Zen in danger is crazy. She lies on cute. Come bring her line <laughs> Free Rigo. Free Rigo. It's going digital. Right here. Right there. So, look at Serenity. Serenity looks so skinny. And uh, the lady speaking in the video, I think her name is um, Jesse G. Lovely. Jesse G. Lovely. Uh, big up to you, Jesse G. Lovely. Thank you for your uploads. Thank you for your commentaries and all of that. Thank you for just being, sister. Because this is something going on here. This girl is too skinny. I lost it. Let's get it back. See her walk on up there. Let's see her walk on up there. Oh, my God. Look at her looking like death. Look at her. They try to distract her for the truth, oh, but they, no. they put me mm -mm. foot off about H. Mm -mm. What you gotta say, babe? Yeah, from the look of things, she looked like she's sick, and she looked like she's been infected. She's skinny, normally, like normally we know as a uh, a man. I've been seeing how women yes feed their baby, mm -hmm. they feed their baby, and when you looked most mostly you could see the breast breast is is fooled up you know with milk, well, milk. If, yeah but like her her one, breasts look like shriveled prunes she like, don't look yeah she look like there's nothing in the breast and she look like malnourished yeah, like she's about sorry to use the word she's about to die die i'm sorry I'm sorry to use the to word say that but a look of thing fairy that's her like name she she's sick mm -hmm. she's sick Mm -hmm. I know mostly when women give birth, yeah. you know, uh -huh. you know, 
they, they gain weight. They yes. Gain, you know, they gain weight. Yes. But this one, she's rather losing. Yes. Two, two. You understand? Yes. And yes. There Th is a one video that I. Uh, that shit I've don't seen. make no sense. That's you know? That's uh huh. That's what it is. I'm listening, babe. The video, she was like talking to people. She was like addressing to people. Uh huh. And uh, you could see, you could tell the background is fake. Or her and fake the, ass background. Yeah, the background. They say nature, but the nature right behind it is fake as fuck. Fake. Yeah, that's the video where she was holding the baby. The baby. And the baby. That was like two days after she had the baby. And then normally to tell what happened here in Africa, in Ghana, when a woman have baby, how many months they stay in with their with their mommy and their auntie and how talk about that yeah, for me. They stay when you come to nature. Yeah, we in Africa, we see a whole lot of in things. In Ghana. We don't, we don't, I don't know, we don't use things like normally women would give birth in the house, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. she'll go some uh, traditional process, you understand? She'll go, after she give birth, she'll go sit with the parents. Yeah, with the for ladies. Like, for like eight months. Or no, so. no, it's not, oh. it's two, two to four months. No, she stay away from her husband. If, if, if Eight months is too long. Let me tell you, if it's her first, yeah, if her it's first, her first, uh huh, her first, uh, how do you call it? Child. Child. She will stay more than four months, which can be eight months. But if it's second, she stay for like four months, because she already had the first experience. She could do things for her own. But if it's first time, she stay for eight months. But looking at this woman. And all that is going like two on. days later, she walking no. around with the baby out there. No. And the just baby, two days later, the baby looked like the baby is sick. Mm -hmm. and she looked I, like the she's sick. That I was talking about, the baby wasn't sucking. Oh, he wasn't sucking the breast. Yeah, right, yeah. right. I know. If a baby suck the, is sucking. Come bring the baby yeah. in so Hold on, baby. Hold on, on baby. Come bring her Look, there it is. There it is. That 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 prune titties you was mm -hmm. talking about. I was trying to capture it, yeah. but yeah, as you were saying, um, normally here in Ghana, the culture and the tradition is the woman have a baby, and she basically goes indoor where her uh, the elderly women take care of her and the, baby. and the baby. She's well taken care of. That's that's all I wanted to elaborate on. But this girl right here, two days after she have her baby, like. Look at her, looking Girl, like death. Look at her. They try to distract her for the truth, but then they, they put me foot me off about HIV. Because they all have... No, she looked like she got HIV, don't she? Of course. She we've looked. Seen, we've seen people that have HIV. We've seen, we, we've seen story. And we know how sorry that you can detect whether by looking at the video, that mm -hmm. doesn't give you 100% proof that the person... As an HIV, but, but by, uh -huh. but so like you can consider the people that you see suffering with HIV, how they look, yeah, how they. Sorry, she, she looked look like, like she got full got, blown AIDS. Yeah, she got HIV. Something she got AIDS, she not got even HIV. HIV. She looked like she dying from a uh, nature boy. Yeah. How could you let people, you know, uh, uh, drink your spam and telling them that they will get upload with the information? Yo, that's my nigga, kind of yo, wash. yeah, that's that's a different video though. We just came, we just gonna keep it right at theory right now. I, just talk, <laughs> you, you know, I know you need you know, to talk, man. but right I mean, now, you put me in this shit. I never know these people do exist through you that I got to know and be like, what the fuck is going on in this world? And this is what kind of people trying to uplift other people, trying to enslave them. That's totally, completely brainwash. Okay, yes, it's true. And at the end of the day is theory. The at the end of the day. Spread. <laughs> Damn, at the end of the day. At the end of the whole thing is like, theory too skinny. She don't look healthy at all. She looks sick. Mm -hmm. And her breasts, her titties don't look like they have milk in them. Mm -hmm. it, it's a concern. Um, and uh, a, 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 a little thing that I just want to, I just want to say this. Theory, Nature Boy, that's probably Nature Boy's baby. That's not that's not that, that Spanish boy baby and girl. Anna, you remember when we were watching the video two days after I think a day before she had a baby. Yeah. She came yeah. out trying yeah. to talk, you know. What was she talking about? I she don't was remember. talking about like 
people to learn to mind their business. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And people should she, mind their own business. She was telling, she was telling the people that she's she my is there. higher self. She is. I'm your higher I'm self. I'm your higher self. You telling people to mind their own business. Why shouldn't I mind my higher self business? Look at it's logic, and then you you beating around the bush like somebody that is this uh, uh, stressed out, depressed, and all of that. You know. It's, mm. it's too much. That's all I can say. Peace so, out. peace out. So, yes, uh, fairy, your titties look dried up. Your titties look dried up for somebody that just had a baby. Your body is dried up for somebody that just had a baby. Somebody so, I know you already told us that you, you had HIV before you got there. So, right about now, it's known that... You got AIDS and you just gave birth to a baby. But besides all of that, the point is I'm just observing that you ain't got no milk in your breast feeding that baby. That baby ain't getting no substance out of your breast. So go on and just put that baby on the bottle, okay? Are you not now? Was there a lack of nutrition? A lack of food? That's odd, but you didn't hear me. But oh, okay. that's because everything that was going on because you have to it's, it's a, an environment that pushes you it's a, it's a very high strenuous environment that's not a lot you would see that on camera but i have to deal with him i was dealing with my with grandma at the time and then the baby and i forgot to take care of myself and i can't blame anyone for anything that has happened to me but that's the reason why you saw that i left because i needed to focus on me I, I had to put the movement to the side and I had to focus on me and the baby because I saw what I did. Like, I can't sit here because the environment never changed. The environment been the way that it's been for two years. But because I started changing and I got pregnant and I wasn't doing different and I was looking for others to take care of me when I'm supposed to take care of me, that's what you saw. And so that's the reason why I have a choice to leave. Does Chief, does Chief not promote that it's it's that type of environment Hell where you don't nah. take care of yourself and you guys kind of take care of each other? Isn't that the environment he promotes? He lying. Well, well, yeah, people were taking care of me, but you still got to take care of yourself. You still have to make sure that you're good. You can't put the responsibility on other people. And when I say taking care of me, I'm talking about it's mental. I, I am as my well. Mind is, right, making sure I'm clean. Nobody can't do that for you. You have to make that choice. And so because I, didn't feel like I could do that and focus on the baby and focus on I, I went too far. And that's the reason why I left. I mean, I've said this numerous times in previous videos that I left because I needed to take care of me and the baby. And I didn't think it was an environment for that because you have to focus so much of your attention and, you, and you're being pushed to grow and I just I just didn't have it in me. I had to I had to leave. You know, I was there well, for you two years. Said the words right there. <laughs> what are you I talking said the about? words right there that that's not the environment in which, you know, having yeah. a child should, Yeah, for it, me know. for me and you saw I, I I was eighty pounds and then my child was malnourished, I had to go. I had to take care of myself. That's not why you have other children right now I that are care. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to bash anyone. And that's the thing. That's what y'all are trying to get me to no, do. No, 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 no. Don't not talk about you, but I'm just, you, you asked me a question, so I'm, no, I'm we're answering not. Okay. People want me to bash that experience because, oh, you saw what happened with her. But nah, it's bigger than that. Just tell the truth, not bad. And that's the reason why I had to go because the, the one tell thing the I want to see is somebody else dying in the tribe, you are going to automatically assume that he has something to do with it. So I had to leave and take care of myself. I've never had a baby. You know, I'm almost 40, and my body just reacted the way that it did. Okay, I have one more question. I have one more question, then I'll let someone else hop in. Okay. Um, are you still willing to work with Eliana and the uh, maybe even Sheba, the, the mothers, the other mothers there, now that Bishop has been locked up, Chief has been locked up? Are you willing to work with them? He wasn't locked up. He is locked up right now. He is incarcerated. No, I, still, I, I would still work with them even if he wasn't locked up. Oh. We have, yeah, we have communicated. I have communi I communicated with him before he got locked up, and I've also been communicating 
with Eliana since she's been locked up. Carbonation is saying they don't know why they're holding him, but there's other accusations out there as to why he is locked up. All we know, so it doesn't matter, like what, why he's locked up. This he's locked up, okay? Um, and they're saying that it's because of the trolls and um, you, yeah, they said child abuse. Like there's so many things that's being said, like. Yeah, there was a video where they said they arrested him because um, the neighbor heard him beat a child or, or child abuse, and then they're still doing that pedophilia thing. And just a whole, a, a whole bunch of the accusations that are being said. Uh, you said trolls don't have that much power. I mean, we honestly don't, we honestly don't know who said what, you know. Um, the, the point is, is that he is in jail, and so I was just sitting back being quiet because my followers have went up tremendously. <laughs> like my subscribers have went up tremendously, and I know why that is because of what's going on. Regardless if I'm not there, I'm still connected there. People are still going to associate me being there because that's how most people know me. Anyways, it's because of carbonation. You know, and I understand that, and and I and I don't. I you never heard me deny it. You know, you never heard me say anything that wasn't true or negative or did a hate you know video because that's why this video is called I'm thankful because regardless of what may happen as the reason why I'm not there, I still have to be thankful for the experience um, of allowing me to be there and all the things that I've learned. And where I am today, because if it wasn't for that experience, I wouldn't be in Hawaii. If it wasn't in, uh, for that experience, I wouldn't have over 8,000. I actually have over 20,000 followers if it wasn't for that experience. So for me to just negate and act like that experience didn't happen um, or not speak up to things that I know is true, that says a lot about me. Because if someone said, well, the, the trolls don't have you know, that much power, and I've been watching a lot of videos with a lot of the people that are against carbonation, and I totally understand that, and I think that if you are, if you feel like something's not right, or if you're not agreeing with something, I, I, I don't see anything wrong with what the trolls are doing, like, they should speak up for what is right, but the issue is, is for those people that do agree with what carbonation stands for. The issue is, is for those that have been affected positively. Now, I'm, again, I'm not taking away some of the things that Chief has done. I, I'm not, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying, because we all fall short of perfection. But the point is. What is the point of your life and what you're trying to do? Yeah, you might fall short and you might make mistakes, but what's the point of your whole life? You want to make a difference. You want to help people. And sometimes in that, we might make decisions that maybe will uh, not be conducive for that purpose. But there's not enough people um, out here that are speaking up that knows the truth about what they do know is true or speak are speaking up about how he has changed their life there's not enough people so we're so focused on the trolls and and, and pointing the finger at the trolls and saying they need to stop and, and they need to no they need to do exactly what they're doing they need to do exactly standing up for what they believe that is right and that's just like for the people that have been helped by carbonation you need to stand up for what is right as well everybody needs to hold their position and do what is right and that's the reason why i came on the camera today because i wanted to be quiet because i really wanted to know what was truly going on because people were like sending me videos and talking about everybody locked up and, and i was just like hold on hold on hold on i'm not there anymore but i know how it is when you are there there are so many rumors and accusations cause of people that that's not there. They making shit up, and it's just tabloids. I said, so let me be quiet, and let me really see what is really being done. So then that's when I found out nobody was locked up but him. 
And then later on, we found that they took their cell phones and their passports, well, some of their cell phones and their passports, so they can't leave. But to, to create all these rumors and stuff, I understand that people, a lot of people don't have lives, so they live very vicariously through other people's lives. And that's why you get all of this craziness, you know, and they forget that these people over there are human beings. But carbonation just isn't those people that are in the tribe in the tri in Central America. Carbonation is everywhere. People, even people, even I say divine is carbonation. Even the haters are carbon. This is a frequency that we're all on, that we're all focused and paying attention to. It does not matter if you agree with him or not. The point of the matter is we got your attention. And what do we always teach? Attention is your greatest currency. So you're giving all your focus and attention to someone that you do not agree with. You are part of that frequency. All Everyone are part of the frequency. So if you don't want to be a part of the frequency, don't give it any of your attention. So we should not bash any of carbonation of what they're, of what they're doing. When, you, when you're doing it just as much, because if you see someone else doing it, you're doing it. And the more you pay attention to the videos, you're, you're, he's able to get to your subconscious and he's teaching you. Regardless if you agree with it or not, he's teaching you and putting his message within you. <laughs> but you want to judge everybody there. You, and, and shoot, you wanted to judge me because I was there, but you there with me. You see? So for me, uh, I wanted to make sure I looked at this objectively and how would I want to be treated now? I don't, I don't know if there's any other information out there that maybe they have found. If he is innocent, justice will prevail. If he is guilty, justice will prevail. You see, it, it doesn't matter. I want justice to be had for anyone. So, and where I'm not there, I can't tell you, oh, he didn't do this. But I can tell you some things that I do know that he is not guilty of. For one, he is not a child molester. He's never molested a child. And he's not a, he does not abuse children. Now, I don't know if if anything has happened while I have been gone, but while I was there, there have been children there and he has never abused any child. Anything he don't have time for him because he's teaching. He's he's too focused on the message. He's too focused on working. And so when Osiris was there, I was the one taking care of Osiris. He appointed me to take care of him. You, you see what I'm saying? And there was another little girl there. And he never, he treated that little girl like it was his daughter. He gave her whatever she needed and wanted while she was there with her mother. And her mother was sunny. And then um, when we found out about the whole pedophile thing, I was, on the, I was near him when he was talking to Maisha. And they were talking about the pedophile thing. And, sh and that's when I heard that it wasn't true. So the fact that she's never did a video letting people know that he really did not, you know, have any sexual desire or did anything perverted, you know, is beneath me because that's still the father of her child. So I was there when she was like, oh my God, I can't believe they said that. That's not true. And so people keep, so it's, it's unfortunate that people keep accusing him of something that, that he's not doing. And that would make me mad. Wouldn't that make you mad if someone keeps accusing you of something that you didn't do? And then when we were in Texas, uh, he actually, the uh, the child, what's, what's the people that come and interview you, you know, to see if you are a pedophile? The person... Um, well, he did a video clip, did, did, did it, um, clearing it up, and people still call him pedophile. So, if people want to hear what they want to hear. But when we was in Texas, somebody came out and interviewed him. It was, it was a, a white guy. He came out and interviewed him and interviewed Osiris. And then he was like, this man is not a pedophile. He was like, I, I do cases like this every day. And, oh, CPS, yeah, they came out, and he said, this man is not that. It's a certain personality and character of people that molest children. And he said that you are not that, sir. And then he also had documentation um, showing that he got cleared of those charges. You know, um, 
So it's just unfortunate that people are still accusing him of that. But like I said, he has did plenty of videos explaining why he said what he said. But he even said what he said did sound crazy. You know, he didn't say that. He was like, yeah, what I said was, was crazy. He said, but let me clear it up. And to this day, people still want to hold on to what it, whatever it is they want to believe. Um, but the way that I see it is that you want to have haters. Because if you don't have haters, you're not doing something right. You're not doing some. You're not doing something right if you don't have people hating on you, trying to stop you, because you're trying to make a difference. You creating. He created a movement, and when you create a movement, you are disrupting the monot the uh, monotony of life. Because even if you don't agree and you have your opinion, everybody is entitled to their opinion, and that's all it is. That is all it is. It's everybody is entitled to their opinion. So anybody, I'm not blocking anyone. Anybody in here saying anything negative, you go ahead and say that, girl. Because this is a platform to where we can speak. And I'm not blocking anybody to express themselves. Because that's exactly what he did and that's exactly what he taught everyone to do. You know, is express yourself. Okay. Now, as far as abusing the women, that's between him and his and his uh, the the women that he's with. I know when I was with him, I know he never abused me. He never put his hands on me. So for me to uh, just and, and I think he even said in the videos that of, of what why he did what he did, and the women were still right there. The the women were right there. So for you to get in someone else's business. And try to tell somebody how they should live. You're just like the government. That's why now women are upheaval in America. Because the government decides you don't have the right to do whatever you want to do with your body. You can't get an abortion. Whatever the circles. It's whether you got raped or whether you got abused. You can't. Do you you can't do anything. No, it's not about me condoning anything. It's none of my business. It is it is none of my business. Just like it's nobody's business what a woman does with her body, but all, all of a sudden the government is saying, no, you, it doesn't matter if you get raped. You can't get an abortion. It doesn't matter if that little girl's father um, has sex with her. She can't get an abortion. So who, so who is somebody else to tell me what I should be doing with my life? And that's the problem. Because when you start putting your business in someone else's business, then what's going to happen? Somebody going to get into your business and you're going to you're going to start looking at it in a different way. I ain't condoning anything because I didn't see it. I can't condone anything. All these accusations and, and the times that he did say he, I wasn't there. I didn't see it. But if these women there are okay with it or, or come to a reconciliation about it, then I have to let it go. It's none of my business. But if a person, if any of the women ever came to me and be like, look, Serenity, I need your help, I would help them. And I would help him. But that never happened, so I got to mind my business. And I've never seen it. But he said in plenty of videos, which, you know, about why he did what he did. So why can't so why can't we take it for that and be like okay that's how this person will live their life so be it let me put positive vibes and hope everything is okay no we wanna we wanna bash and accuse and when it's none when it's nobody's business the only thing you can do is put positive vibes out and become the person that you should be coming. Instead of t telling everybody what they should be doing and that's the problem with the United States of America now. You can't truly live your life and do what you want to do because somebody else thinks that they know better than you how to live your life. And that's just not true. Yeah, it's everyone's business, but how would you feel if, if, you, if someone was in your business trying to tell you what to do? You will want people to sit back and trust that you will make the right decision. That's what you want. People want to people want to feel like what I'm doing, I have enough sense to know how to handle this. You see what I'm saying? But so for me to sit here and be like, "Get my No, I'm not I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that at all. 
And I suggest that you don't do it either. But again, do what you want to do. <laughs> it's, your, it's your life. Do what you want to do. Say whatever you want to say. I'm not, I'm not here to stop anybody from saying and doing whatever they want to do. I have nothing to prove or, or to explain or what you should be doing. But the reason why I came on camera today was because I wanted to put out a positive vibe. I wanted to be the example of the type of person I believe that people that follow me should be. Or at least know. You see? And for me, you know, I want to say that I'm thankful for that experience. Because here was a man, a black man, that was trying to make a difference. See, back in the day, we had Malcolm X and the Martin Luther Kings and, you know, Marcus Garvey and all these people. Well, I wasn't born at that time. I just heard about these people, you know, um, wanting to... No, the mission doesn't fit, doesn't fail. Oh, you think the mission fail? Oh, no. The mission continues on. So you see, you think carbonation is him. Carbonation is you. Carbonation is me. Carbonation is everywhere. It's a movement. It's just not one person. He spoke that message so many times that even his own haters know his message. <laughs> he got over thousands of videos repeating himself over and over and over. You know, and you know the message more than he does. <laughs> I'm sure I'll change the vibe and all of them know the message because they're dissecting and looking at the videos. And so if you're if you're looking and trying to find something, you're also getting educated too. <laughs> so it's like you can't it's like you can't get away from it. But this was a this was a man because I wanted to sit back and reflect like what what's the point? And this was a man that, a black man, that wanted to make a difference. He was in a world that did not accept him. So what he wanted to do, I did not see him as equal. So what he wanted to do, he wanted to show himself and everyone that looked like him that if you not accept it or you're not happy where you are leave and create your own well it doesn't matter if you agree with how he doing it you do you create your own tribe you do your own thing okay so let's let's be let's be objective let's look at it for what it is instead of how you feel about it this was a man that good i'm glad you're disappointed in me because you're not a true follower of mine because if you're a true follower of mine you will totally understand what I'm what I'm talking about. But because the majority of y'all are not true followers, y'all just on the bandwagon and y'all just sitting back watching someone else's life, that when someone is, is speaking truth, you can't discern it. You see? So this was a man that wanted to make a difference and she told you you can make a difference too. Because the world was not created for the black person to to be successful in, to live a free life. For whatever karma, whatever reasons, it's always harder for us. So he decided to do something different. He decided, you know what? I'm going to leave this system and I'm going to go out here, go out to the tropics and live my life and I don't want to show you, you can do it too. I want to show you who you truly are and that is God because a lot of us forgot. But then also he wanted to show you that you don't have to stay within a system that does not support you. You can leave. And you can go. And that's what that's what he did. He created a movement. That you don't have to put up with anything. That you don't have to put up with. That you don't want to put up with. And that's why he left. And he wanted to show other black men. That you can go off. And start your own life. To your own thing. Because in other countries. It is easier you know, for you to do certain things. Now, because of who he is in his presence and the message that he spoke, eventually it caught up to him. But that's that happens to everyone. Everyone powerful, it has happened. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, in their own way, you saw what happened because they created a movement. They were changing the minds of people. They were opening it. They were awakening people. So eventually something's going to happen. 
You know, they're, they're not just going to let you just sit here and make a difference and, and help people out in this world. You, especially if, if the color of your skin is black. So whatever, so whatever they could do, they're going to do it, but at the same time, you know, putting yourself out there, you know, you are making yourself a target, and that's why a lot of people don't speak up. And that's why not even with me speaking up, people are attacking me, but it doesn't matter. This is what I signed up for. Regardless if I'm there or not, this is what I signed up for. I signed up to make a difference. I signed up to help people. And so even though I'm not there, I wanted to put out that frequency of I'm thankful and everything's going to be okay. And like I said, justice will happen for what justice is due. But that's it. I know, right? They said y'all was just so fucking happy all of a sudden. Y'all want to y'all want to say anything about all of a sudden? I'm gonna talk right now. <laughs> when are you going to talk when you on your live later? I don't want to talk right now. You want to talk later? What's wrong? Nothing. That's not honest. He said y'all was just so happy one minute and then y'all ready to go. I mean, I'm I'm in support mm -hmm. of whatever is most most conducive for you. I, I don't I mean, don't make it a sad thing if you saying that this is what you want to do, you want to go, then then go. Don't be don't be sad, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm happy in Spanish. This is what you want to do with your life. It's yeah. best that you go and go live your life. Right. You understand? We don't have to have a, a bad thing. A lot of people go, they try to talk shit about me behind my back. Right. You guys know me. Right. You know? Right. And so, you know, people want to know one day you was happy and then all of a sudden you just leave. Why? This is I'm still a joyous, happy person. It's not like that I wasn't happy. I just feel like I can be more conducive somewhere. You could be more somewhere, more somewhere else. Right. Yeah. Like, uh, like, you always have happy moments, but like just overall, like I think it's like analyzing the purpose and like feeling like. But did I do anything to y'all? Oh, absolutely no, not. not no, 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 no. Well, no. the only thing you did was give us knowledge yourself. Right. A God complex is an unshakable belief characterized by consistently inflated feelings of personal ability, privilege or infallibility. A person with a God complex may refuse to admit the possibility of their error or failure, even in the face of irrefutable evidence, intractable problems or difficult or impossible tasks. The person is also highly dogmatic in their views, meaning the person speaks of their personal opinions as though they were unquestionably correct. Someone with a God complex may exhibit no regard for the conventions and demands of society, and may request special consideration or privileges. God complex is not a clinical term or diagnosable disorder and does not appear in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders DSM. The first person to use the term God complex was Ernest Jones, 1913-51. His description at least in the contents page of Essays in Applied Psychoanalysis, describes the God complex as belief that one is a God.